Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're Gunmart TV. <clears throat> I'm going to show you here uh, an interesting rifle with the derivative of the Effecto range. And it comes in this very uh, smart case. When I first saw this brand, Effecto, up at the British Shooting Show uh, the beginning of 2022. Uh, I've been a bit sort of slow getting hold of one of these, but we're one of the first to show the bullpup version that come onto the scene and uh, it comes as i say in this really nice case it's all padded out and you get quite a few items with it so this is the bullpup version and yeah it's 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 a very smart rifle i have to say we've got the gray camo version but this also comes in synthetic a car key camo and a bronze version so obviously that's the difference being you can get the, the stock specified with a different pattern different color uh, but it's synthetic thumb hole ambidextrous stock and I have to say well above average I'm in with a, a very pleasing product here so in your case first of all you've got interchangeable cheap pieces and we'll show you how they go on in a minute there's two extra cheap pieces as well as the one on the gun you get a uh, you actually get two of these so it's a multi-shot system you get allen keys spare washers and you also get charging probe we've got it there fit to a best fittings quick coupler so and, and i'm quite a comprehensive instruction booklet as well so you're, you're off to a good start there so starting at the front we've got obviously a fully shrouded barrel here and it's that comes threaded at the front so you can add on a, a silencer as well so it's a half inch u and f thread on there <clears throat> then moving back the way they've done the, as I say, it's the probe style of charging, and this is very slick. Again, above, above average feel to it all. You, that turns around and it sort of stops in little recesses, so you've got a staged dust cover there. So as you move it around, you can feel it click into place, and then you can see your probe will be inserted into there. You've got a manometer right at the front. Again, you know, it, it's not the ideal position for that, but loads of guns loads of rivals have it have the same thing but at least you can keep a check of the residual air pressure usually large diameter um, cylinder on this couple that with the sort of unusually high charge pressure of 240 bar you've got a fair few shots out of this on test we did it to about 220 or there's not much point in going to 240 I and mean, we had 150 odd shots out of this at 220 so yeah there's, there's plenty of plenty of shots given it's not a buddy bottle system Moving back, obviously it's, it's, it's the classic ballpark configuration, so your action's set right back to the, um, the rear of the stock. But it's not unlike some of the systems, the bolt is actually, you know, this, is, this is designed from the, 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 um, the ground up as such. So you've got the bolt in the, uh, the mid position, so you can actually cycle it. Um, a lot easier than if it was, um, you know, sometimes the, they've just put the whole at the standard action and you've got a bolt there, which of course is really awkward. But on, before I forget though, on this, I'm right handed. I would have preferred the bolt to be on the right hand side. When you look at these, they all seem to be on the left and it's not interchangeable. That's something to consider, but it is, having said that, it's still perfectly oper operable for a right hander um, from this side. But for me, it's just slightly lacking that subtlety of when you're in the shoulder and you're supporting it, you can do it with the other hand. But something to consider, and I'd, you know, this is a sort of try before you, you buy a situation. Other features, so you've got, because it's the ballpup, you've got the, um, the high-rise or sort of intermount style of scope mount. This is uh, all very robust, actually, I have to say. Nicely done. It's quite a good build quality on these, so all done with socket heads. And that you've, it's Picatinny style mounting there really chunky and you know obviously these are very popular but it allows you, you can sort of know exactly where the scope um is set and then you can put quickly take things on and off and know where you're putting it back on by eye and uh, that's a big advantage then you've got another small picatinny rail underneath the fore in there which is handy so sort of lasers a bipod the usual stuff and uh, there's a pretty good two-stage trigger on here as well I was wondering where the safety catch was and thought it didn't have one until I checked the manual and of course that is stuck there that's manual but it's um, just neatly put there quite neat actually so again you can ignore it I, I'm not a big fan of safety as I know a lot of people are if you want it it's there say ambidextrous um, grip the whole everything's ambidextrous on the stock 
And now coming back to the cheat piece, as I say, you've got these interchangeable cheat piece elements. So you slide, and they're very easy to do. So you just literally slide it off, and then you slide another one into place. There we are. Magazine, when it's in place, is still proud of the breech block there. So these aren't going to cover that. You can vary the height, which helps for your eye scope alignment. Now, as I say, my only draw, um, slight reservation with ball pups, but it applies across the market, um, the vast majority, is that obviously when you are in, a, in alignment, you've got your breech quite near your face. And I just, I'd never like the idea of that. But um, get past that. There's an army of people who love this very configuration but it's that's something you sort of have to put up with so let's see the the magazine in in operation so obviously you can slide that back we'll cock the action so pull the side lever back you can see your probe has now come back to the rear and then the the magazine we've actually filled this and this is one you don't pre-tension it you just turn each drum and you hear it click and you drop a pellet in you're turning anti-clockwise until you've filled it. We've pre-filled that one. Oh, sorry, it in, comes in from the left-hand side. All feels very slick and very well machined, I must say. And in operation, it's been a um, pretty slick feel to it. So let's put a few shots through now. As you can see, it's, that's the cycling of the action is as fast as you can pull that lever back. And I've done some sort of accuracy testing and stuff with this, and it's throughout and chronograph testing. And the other than not liking short pellets, the um, the cycling of the system's been terrific, and you know no failures on test. It all feels really snug, really crisp when it goes in. Consistency-wise, we're stopped at 150 shots from a 220 bar. The consistency was excellent. This is a regulated action. I had one shot which did take it to 28 feet per second over the charge. That was one shot. If you discounted that, it was 13 feet per second over 150 shots. So that's pretty superb. It's a nice gun. So this is the Effecto Xeon.